Okay, welcome back, and now we're going to get started with the modeling portion. So the first thing you want to do is you need to make sure that your 3D cursor, this little guy right here, is at the center of your grid. It needs to be at zero on the X, zero at the Y, and zero at the Z. And that's so the mirror modifier will be working correctly. So the way you do that is you press Shift C, um, and it will go right here at the center, which happens to be kind of in the waist um, of our Minotaur character here. Um, you'll notice though that in the front view it's here in the center but it didn't quite do that in the um, side view. Which it looks a little strange. Um, so you can press Shift C there as well. And now you can see that it's at the center for both views. Okay, so now we're going to add in our first bit of geometry and that's going to be a plane. So I'm going to do Shift A and notice that I'm doing all of this in the front view. Most of my modeling today is going to be in the front view. And I'm going to choose a plane. And the plane comes in um, basically facing upwards in the Z axis. All right, so now I'm going to get into edit mode so I can actually start modeling. So I'm going to press tab, and the pie menu pops up, and I'm going to choose edit mode. Once I'm in edit mode, I'm now going to rotate this. So I'm going to press R then X because I want to rotate it on the X axis, oops, X, and then I'll type in 90, 90 on the numpad. I'll then left click my mouse and now that plane is now flipped up and facing us. Now we can't see through the plane because it's in solid shaded mode. So we're going to press the letter Z as in zebra and from this new pie menu here we're going to choose wireframe so that way we can see uh, our Minotaur reference image through there. Okay, so now we need to slice this plane equally right down the middle so we can do the mirror modifier. So to do that, we're going to do what's called a loop cut tool, and that is Control R. And when you do Control R, you might not see anything at first, but if you move your mouse pointer towards the top or the side, you will see a pink cut line. You want to move your mouse towards the top of the plane and you'll see that pink cut line going right down the middle. So you're going to left click once to actually tell Blender where you want the cut to go and then you're going to then left click again right away to place the cut. Now you'll see that I am accidentally moving my line a little bit um, and so it may not have gone in there perfectly. Um, I'm going to do Control Z to undo and I'll do Control R again and I'll just left click, left click right away. Okay? Um, okay, so now there's the cut going perfectly down the middle, and that's the really the most important thing is that the cut goes perfectly down the middle. You can see it's lining up with the center of our Minotaur image really nicely. Okay, now we need to delete the left hand side uh, so we can do the mirror modifier. So I'm going to um, right click and then shift right click both of these vertices here. I'll then press X and choose Delete Vertices. Okay, so now we're all set up. I'm going to come over here to my side view, and you'll see that the side view is also in... Um, oh, whoops. There we go. Uh, I, did not change my, uh, I did not change my window um, to the side view. So uh, over here in the side view, sorry about that, over here in the side view I did press uh, Numpad three. So now it's in the side view and you can see right here it does say right ortho. So there we are there. I was wondering why that looked a little off. Okay, so here we are uh, in the side view. Now everything looks good. Um, Alright, and I can tell you that this also is in solid view. So what I'm going to do here as well is I'm going to press Z and I'm going to choose wireframe as well. And then I'll go back into side view. Okay, everything is good. Alright, so now for the mirror modifier. I'm going to come over here to the uh, toolbar panel, the properties panel on the right hand side, and I'm going to look for the little wrench icon here. That's called the modifier panel. I'll click on add modifier, and I'll come down here in the second column where it says mirror. Um, the only other thing that I need to do, and you can see the mirror modifier is, is right here. It's on the left hand side. It might be a little tough to see in the recording, but there it is. Um, is I want to turn on this little checkbox that says clipping. And what that does is if I select these two middle vertices and if I
press G to grab them and I move them, you'll see that the model now tears and I actually have a, a split going down the middle. We generally don't want that to happen. We don't want our model to split down the middle. Um, so I'm going to turn on clipping and now um, if I press grab, I can't, I can only move that vertex up and down. I can't move it away from the center and that's all good. Okay, um, what I think I'm going to do to make this a little bit clearer or a little bit easier to see is I'm going to change my theme and you certainly don't need to do this but I'm going to change my theme in Blender so that way um, things stand out a little bit more. Ooh. That's not very good at all, is it? Okay. I was hoping that theme would, would stand out a little bit better. Um, okay, sorry about that. We are back. Um, I was basically going through different themes in Blender just to change the colors, so hopefully it would be a little easier for your eyes. Um, all right, so I found one that's a little bit of a darker theme that works pretty well for my eyes. Hopefully it works well for your eyes as, as well. Okay, so now I'm pretty much ready to start shaping. Um, and that's pretty much going to be uh, right-clicking to select a vertex and then pressing G to grab the vertex and get it into place. So I'm going to start uh, here with the uh, chest muscle with the pectorals. So I'm just going to press G and grab uh, the vertex and I'm just focusing on the major uh, chest muscle right here. So again I'm shift right clicking to select more than one vertex and I'll press G to grab and then I'll G to grab and I'll zoom in so we can really focus on um, what we're looking at right here. Okay so now I'm going to just focus on modeling the torso and just kind of tell you how the workflow goes. Um, and then I think we'll get to the, um, the next video. We'll cover the appendages like the arms, uh, the head and the neck, and the legs. So we've got the basic rough shape. You have to remember that this part of the process, you only want to make it very rough. You're not modeling any details. I'm certainly not copying this reference image under here. It's nice for reference, but I'm not copying it at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select these two bottom vertices. I'll then press E to extrude, and I'll move my mouse downward. And I'm going to go ahead and move it right here at the bottom of the rib cage. I'll then take this vertex, select it, G to grab, and I'll kind of roughly shape it, something like that. Okay, I'll continue. Shift right click, select the bottom two vertices, I'll press E to extrude, and I'll bring it down and left click to accept. Um, continue, and I'm, I'm just extruding for each of the major abdominal muscles. So you can see here's one abdominal muscle, here's the next abdominal muscle, um, here's the third abdominal muscle. Again, kind of shaping as I go along really still rough. Um, okay, and I think I'll go ahead and I'll do one more here. And this will give me a little bit of flexibility. And then maybe I'll do one final extrusion So I could do something like this, and that way um, you can see I still have, it looks a little bit like a triangle here, but it's, it's really, it's a four-sided uh, quad shape, um, and that gives me um, this. So that's basically what I've got, um, and there we go. So that's looking pretty good. I'll now press uh, tab and go back into object mode. And you can kind of see now there's, it shows you the outline of the mirror shape over there. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll orbit this over here. You won't really see anything yet um, because I'm still in wireframe mode. If I press the letter Z and I choose solid mode, then you'll kind of see it. It almost looks a little bit like a shield. Um, 
so that's fine right there. Press Z, I'll go back into wireframe mode, go back into side view. Okay, so now what I would want to do is I'd want to make this uh, three-dimensional, give it some three-dimensional shape, and then I would want to then contour it and shape it just so that it fits the basic shape of the Minotaur. All right, so I'm going to press tab to get back into edit mode. And now I'm going to extrude the entire block. And that's going to give it some depth. So I'm going to press A to select all. I'm now going to come over here to the side view. And I'm going to press E. And I'm going to extrude and pull back. So now, and left click, and you can see that now I have this thickness here. I have some actual depth. Um, and just to show you, you can see it's actually three-dimensional now here in wireframe mode. And if I go into solid mode, you'll see it is actually three-dimensional there. So now I have a nice block. Okay, I'm going to go back into Z for wireframe mode. Okay, so now is the fun part. I get to do a little bit of shaping. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to be selecting vertices, and then I'll press... G to grab them and move them, maybe S to scale, but mostly G to grab them. Um, to select a lot of vertices, I will either shift right click or I will do what's called box select mode. And that's where you can press B for box select mode. You can then left click and drag a selection box around a whole bunch of vertices, like I just selected all these front vertices here. And then I can go ahead and I can grab them and I can move them anywhere I want. So I'm going to go ahead and move them a little down like that and left click and place them. Okay, maybe I'll move them up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in so we can really focus on this. And this next part of the process is really um, very repetitive, which is, which is good. Um, let's you just kind of focus on the shape of the... Uh, Minotaur. So what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to select from the front view. I'm going to shift right click and select these four vertices right here. Um, it's always a good idea to make sure that you're selecting the right vertices. Sometimes what I do to make sure is I always um, go back into three-dimensional perspective view so I can look at this and say, well, you can see that I selected these three front vertices, but I also got this one in the back here, which I didn't mean to do. So I will shift right click on that one, and then I'll shift right click on that one. That's the one that I was supposed to select. So just be double extra sure that you are selecting the right ones. Okay, so now I would basically just press G and grab, and you can basically move your vertices around so that you can start shaping them. So this is where I'm going to grab and select and move my um, vertices around. So I'm going to box select. I'm going to select these back vertices. G to grab. Maybe I'll R rotate a little bit just to get that angle of the back a little bit. G to grab. Something like that. I'll press A to deselect. Okay, now what I'm going to do to make things hopefully a little bit easier is I'm going to, I'm going to get a three-dimensional view now. Sometimes for beginners, it's really tough to see what the heck is going on when you have wireframe views because it starts getting more complex here. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to come up here to the top right-hand corner of my side window. I'm going to left-click and I'm going to drag downward. And you'll see now I have a, another window. And in this one, I'm going to make it a perspective angle by orbiting around. And then I'm going to make it solid view by pressing the letter Z while I'm in that window. And I'll choose solid. That way I can really see what the, you know, what the heck is going on. Um, and it feels like a more solid object to my eyeballs. And I'm pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to select. I think I'm going to use the perspective window to select my shapes. For my brain, that seems to work out better. Um, and then I'll go ahead and I'll move things around. Okay, so I've got these top two vertices selected, and then down here in the side view, I'll just press G and grab them, and I'll kind of bring them back to the top of his chest, because his top of his chest comes back. You can see that in the side view. It does come back, um, and there we are there. 
Okay, and then maybe this vertex here in his chest, that's going to come forward a little bit. There, so maybe this one comes forward a little bit too on the y axis. Okay, so there's his chest, I'll say right about there. Okay, so again, we're just roughing it, um, and there we are there. Okay, so now I'll take these two here, and I'm just going to start working my way down. Um, so now I'm going to take these two vertices here and grab them and bring them out for the top of the rib cage. I'll then take these two vertices here, grab them and bring them out again for the abdominals. And just, just selecting this whole front and bringing it out for his belly here. Um, I'll eventually take these bottom two um, and maybe bring them back and up and in. Kind of taking a look at it. Um, I want his abdominals to bulge out maybe a little bit more, make them a little bit more muscular. So that's pretty much the process. Um, look over here in the front view a little bit just to make sure that things are lining up. Um, you'll notice in the front view that um, the vertices have gotten rotated a little bit. That's generally okay. That shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, but you want your vertices to look, you know, that you want them to kind of line up in the front view and um, the side view things like that. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to shape uh, the back view here. So I'm basically going to repeat the process. I'll start at the top. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to screencast all of this uh, because I don't want the video to be uh, too long. So again, all I'm doing is I'm shift clicking, shift right clicking, and I'm selecting um, the back, and then I press G and I grab and I move those uh, two vertices where I think they should go. Um, and don't be surprised, the smallest little adjustment um, can really make quite a difference. See, I'm just selecting two verts. Now you can select four vertices if you want. Now his back is really curving in, so I'm going to go ahead, select, and move those inward there. G, grab it, move it in. And then these very last two are around his, uh, around his, his bottom side, his butt there. There we go. Okay. All right, so this looks pretty blocky and chunky, um, kind of like a like a really muscular Minecraft character. Um, but I think this is going to this is going to work out just fine. Okay, so that's going to be it. Um, always go back and just look around and check uh, all three um, all three major angles: the front view, the side view, um, and your perspective view, and just get a basic feel for it and see how it's going to go. I'll press tab and go back to object mode. Um, that way you can kind of see it. And good luck. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll go ahead and I'll make um, a separate object uh, built the same way uh, for the arm, for the leg, for the neck and the head. So I'll see you in the next one.